Namaste, it's Helge again. My student project number three is finally done. In this phase, I went deeper into the user interface game. I cannot wait to show you the exciting process, my ups and downs, and the final screens. So take your popcorn, sit back, and enjoy the journey. For everyone who is new here, I shortly repeat the brief of this project. The final step needs to provide a user-friendly, responsive web app for recipes. Since more and more people are turning to digital sources for recipes, there still exists a growing need for this field. My target audience is built up by busy people who are not capable to spend too much time by preparing an extraordinary and complex meal. Some of them are looking for cost-effective and wholesome dishes in the same way. Based on that, I decided to create a solution which combines the three needs above, but more on that in a moment. For the research, I compared three competitors with each other and extracted their strengths and weaknesses. Kitchen Stories excels in quality recipes and user engagement, but limits some content behind a paywall. Tasty is known for viral videos, but lacks in-depth guidance. Fox Overnight serves a niche with unique recipes and community focus, but has limited mainstream appeal. The results of the survey showed that two of them preferred wholesome meals, but only one person was interested in scientific resources on the topic of food. Two of them are also passionate hobby chefs who like to cook elaborate meals from time to time. There was also a desire to customize the app according to individual needs or to be able to order the ingredients directly from the platform. Next, I designed personas of three fictional potential users. On the one hand, we have Mia Lin, who is open-hearted and lively, likes to be surprised and uses apps that are simply fun. In contrast to this is a power woman, Zibille, who has no time for long talks and complicated apps. She works hard and long hours and looks for quick, wholesome meals without the frills. Last but not least, there is a pensioner, Ludwig. This man likes to travel to Italy and enjoys their rich cuisine. He discovered cooking by himself, but needs to be guided and prefers it classic and simple. The heart of my concept is based on the following mission. Establish an app that combines simple, inexpensive and wholesome recipes in one platform. This mission serves as a compass for maintaining a successful user experience. All decisions for design, communication and development are based on that. In order to further deepen the concept of UX, I work with so-called Jobs to be done, or JTBD for short. It contains possible scenarios for a user to get from point A to point B. This ensures that a strong user flow can be established afterwards. An example of a job to be done could be, when I click on a recipe, I want to get short cooking steps in order to easily cook my own meal. Once it has been considered which location should be present on this app, a user flow diagram will be created that shows the start, connection and endpoints. With this overview, designers and developers are able to quickly see any vulnerabilities. Now it's getting more practical soon, I promise, more colorful. After a user testing phase, I sketched the first screens, which are called low fidelity wireframes. Here we come to the transition from the UX to the UI level. The shown screens are an initial idea for one possible app direction. The next round shows the mid fidelity wireframes, which also start with very simple and gradually increase in details. 
many CI decisions are also going to develop step by step at the same time. As promised, things are now getting more colorful. Colors, fonts, icons and illustrations have been defined. You can also see the primary and secondary buttons with their different states. Furthermore, copy guidelines and the do's and don'ts are defined. Now the style is getting more and more tangible. I'm happy to introduce you to the high fidelity wireframes. Here you can see some responsive designs, which means that they smartly adapt depending on the medium and size. On all devices, the design should be attractive and simple and lead the user quickly to their goal. Based on the mission to combine cost-effective, wholesome and simple recipes in one app, I decided to establish a minimal design that focuses on the essentials like the recipe shots and works with a lot of white space. Since a wide audience of different ages and backgrounds should be touched, the CI is kept simple and avoids unnecessary gimmicks and expressive visuals. The brand name 3CP consists of two words, 3 and recipe. The 3 stands for my three keywords for the entire mission, to offer simple, inexpensive and wholesome recipes. I found it charming to make the wordmark responsive as well, so that only three characters are visible on smartphones. We are now coming to the end of our third journey. This was a big adventure of learning the UX and UI fundamentals. To find successfully a matching concept for a cooking app was a tough task, since there are lots of awesome and beautiful platforms out there. However, I'm very satisfied with the end results of my deliverables so far. I'm convinced that the presented UX and UI solutions have the power to ensure a handy benefit for a big group of people. The mission of providing three relevant needs into one platform combined with an aesthetic, subtle and easy to expand design establishes a strong foundation. The biggest challenge for me was to deliver the files with a constant time pressure on my shoulders. I had less time to rest, to overthink my steps and to improve my decisions, which is very necessary in order to maintain a high quality standard. Therefore, this project represents more of an appetizer than a fully developed masterpiece. However, boredom never occurred and I'm excited to see what I can show you next. Cheers and thank you very much!